What's up, guys? Your boy Jay Fisher here, guys. And today is a day where uh, we're actually supposed to get hit by Hurricane Adalia. But uh, fortunately, it seems like the pathway has moved and we're not really going to get hit as hard as we were. So, hey, I'm going to go try doing a little bit of fishing uh, a little bit south. It still looks a tiny bit sunny, but uh, we'll see how it turns out, guys. If anything goes uh, pretty bad, we're definitely going to come back home. But uh, also, I called a couple of local bait shops and they're all closed down due to the storm. So uh, I pretty much just grabbed what I had in the freezer. And I'm going to take that out there and see what happens, guys. But anyways, I'll see you all there. All right, guys. Well, before I go fishing, I'm going to uh, show you guys a little before the hurricane uh, of the yard. Last year, it was a pretty big difference from before and after. So let's see, guys. Pray for uh, everybody's safety out there. Uh, don't do anything dumb. If you got to leave, you got to leave, guys. Don't worry about materialistic things. It's kind of what I have in my head right now. If uh, something happens and I end up having to leave when I come back, we just got to go. I mean, grab a book bag with the most important things you guys got and get out of there, guys, because it's better to be safe than sorry. But anyways, guys, let's go on a little fishing trip through this before this storm and uh, see what happens. Eventually. First catch, guys. What is it? Oh, no. Oh, man. We got a little catfish, guys. It's unfortunate. Let me get him off. There he goes, guys. Get out of here and don't come back. Oh man, guys, hopefully that's not the only thing in here, but let's check it out. At least I got something, guys. I didn't get skunked. Something else, guys. What do we got? Oh, it's a little baby one. Same thing, though. It's not good. Let me get them off, guys. Second one. Get out of here. Here we go, guys. We got another, something else. Another species. Ah, it's a ladyfish. Should have known when it started jumping. <laughs> Let me get him off there, guys. I think I'm going to keep this guy. I've been hearing a lot of things about cup bait with this guy. So let me do that. Let me get him off. There he is, guys. Little ladyfish. Yeah, I'm going to keep this one for chunk bait. It seems like the perfect size, guys. But uh, let's go. We're getting good. Getting a good start here to the day. Let's see what happens, guys. Oh, we got something here, guys. Oh, no. Not another one. Come on, man. That one really had me, guys. It grabbed the bait and ran. Ah, oh, it's so annoying. Oh, I see why. I barely hooked him. All right, let me get him off. Here it goes, guys. Oh, guys, look at that rainbow over there. It looks pretty good. And you guys can hear that wind. Man, this storm just came out of nowhere. I don't have much more time here, but man, that was crazy. <laughs> out of nowhere, this wind just came. Let's see what happens. All right, well, guys, we switched scenarios. You see where we're at now. We came to the uh, seawall after the uh, other park. Didn't really pay off, so we're here now, and uh, we'll see what happens, guys. I brought the ladyfish from the other park, though, and I've been catching some pinfish out here, which we're keeping them alive to see if maybe, I don't know, maybe a snook will bite them. I'm not sure. We'll see what happens, though, guys. You see the power plant in the background? Let's see if we have any luck, guys. Let's go, guys. First catch over here. Oh, let's go. It's a tiny little pinfish, guys. You know what this means. It's time to put them on a live bait. We're going to throw this guy out there and try to catch something big, guys. Let's go. Oh, we got a nice one, guys. Come here. What do we got here? Holy crap. That is a big sail cat, guys. Look at that thing. Let me get him off here. Oh my God. Might be the biggest one I've ever caught. All right, guys. Look at this guy. He's huge. There he goes. Get on out of here. All right, guys. Well, I'm using the pinfish, live pinfish on here. And I just got him with a uni knot. I'm going to cast him out there, see if he brings me any luck, guys. I just caught this guy here. Let's see what happens. Man, guys, look at that sunset. So beautiful. You got to love it, guys. We got this pinfish out there. We'll see what happens. Man, guys, that storm looks beautiful but crazy at the same time. <laughs> we haven't had much luck out here, guys. But, uh, hey, we're still out here enjoying the views and just enjoying being out here fishing. It feels really good right now because there's no sun out. It hasn't felt like this in Florida for a couple months now. I'm sure you guys have heard or know if you live around, but uh, we'll see what happens, guys. I'm just enjoying the day, day by day. Got something else, guys. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's just another catfish. <laughs> I got this on the little broken reel rod too, guys. You should have heard it. It sounds crazy. But let me get this guy off of there. Here he is, guys. Might be the last catch of the day. Get out of here, buddy. 
Oh guys, we'll see what happens. It's getting dark out here. And as you guys can tell, the storm is moving in. So I don't know yet. I got my uh, live pinfish still out there, but I haven't had a bite on them. So let's see what happens guys. See you. Guys fighting these catfish on this little tiny rod is so fun. Oh, that's why he's a little nicer one. <laughs> Let me get him off there guys. Here he is guys. Get out of here. That might have been my biggest one of regular catfish. The sail cat was the one that was bigger. All right, guys. Nothing but catfish out here again. Second time I come out here, and that's all I'm catching, guys. But hey, at least I came out here and gave it a shot. Uh, don't seem to have any bite on my pinfish either. So maybe they're just not out here, guys. I tried to wait it out as long as I could, but uh, seems like there's not much out today, guys. But hey, we went out to the mangroves, caught a couple of fish. Uh, lady fish and catfish unfortunately and then came out here and gave it another shot but looks like the same thing out here guys i don't know if it's the water temperatures if anyone has any uh experience with it let me know maybe that's what it is guys but uh yeah at least i came out and gave it a shot guys but anyways i'm gonna stay out a little longer hopefully the storm doesn't take me away yet but uh we'll see what happens guys see you oh you guys just seen that that's the lightning that i've been putting up with it's time to get out of here guys Walking out of here, didn't have no more uh, luck really guys. Just a bunch of catfish. I might've caught a couple more off camera and I just figured it wasn't worth putting it on camera. So getting out of here guys. See you guys at the house. All right, guys well back at the house now all showered up and stuff uh man guys i basically just wanted to let you guys know that uh i wasn't out there uh guys so i really wasn't trying to be like you know in a dangerous storm or anything like that and i i'm not uh telling you guys to do anything like that or showing you guys content so that you guys try to do that that's not what i'm trying to do uh i just kind of wanted to go out fishing today uh i actually got the day off because of the storm I didn't get to uh, get any live bait because my local bait shops were actually closed because of the storm, which makes sense, complete sense, and I'm not mad about that at all. So uh, I just grabbed whatever frozen bait I had in the, in the fridge and uh, took it out with me. And um, you guys seen it. I mean, it wasn't as lucky as I was hoping to be, <laughs> considering the fact that I was out there. And uh, a lot of people say sometimes the storms, you know, make a better bite and all that. And it was looking like it was going to be like that, guys. But unfortunately, it just didn't turn out to be that way, guys. And I, it's probably the bait I was using. I would definitely blame it on that, guys. I mean, come on now. I'm out there chunking out pieces of cut uh, mullet and cut greenback. So, you know, I, but I had fun. Uh, like I said, I wasn't in danger at all, guys. The lightning started probably towards the last 30 minutes that I was there. Uh, the winds were a little heavy but uh I, we were there <laughs> we were we were doing what we could with what we uh with the winds and all that guys so it wasn't too bad uh it's actually starting right now in my area so uh, right now it's it's pretty uh the winds are pretty heavy out there the rain is starting so uh yeah i definitely had to get out of there for sure when i got out of there i had to leave guys it, it was time so i was really waiting for something to bite that live pinfish guys i was so excited for that it was one of the first times i ever really tried that so uh didn't happen guys but hey i'm not giving up i'll definitely do it again and uh yeah guys so tomorrow morning uh i'm gonna before i upload this video i'm gonna wake up and actually show you guys what uh my yard looks like because i showed you guys the before uh footage and uh i'll show you guys what it looks like after typically it's a bunch of branches on the ground a bunch of leaves stuff like that but we'll see a lot of debris coming from the trees who knows guys maybe this hurricane actually didn't hit us as hard as it was supposed to especially because all the um weathermen and all of them on the news were telling us basically that the storm had moved a little you know uh west and uh so basically it was going to come in a little more north than where it was supposed to come in so that kind of cleared tampa bay up and i'm a little south of tampa bay so uh but that's where i fish it worked out we got a little bit of fishing in guys stayed a little longer than i should have but hey i made it back home safe and i hope all you guys are safe after this hurricane i'll see you guys in the morning to show you guys what the yard looks like after this hurricane the next day oh guys it's the morning after the hurricane there's actually nothing to really show thank god 
uh seems like not much happened guys the only thing i will say is uh i guess there's slight flooding nearby but uh we didn't get any of it it's actually like on the way to where i would go fishing though so <laughs> can't do that but yeah guys so it's pretty much the end of the video um i actually was gonna head out to a couple of our fishing spots and show you guys uh kind of what the damage was or how high the waters are but uh I looked it up and it turns out the police are pretty much telling us everybody not to head that way because uh there's there's flooding on the roads i guess the storm surge pulled water in from the bay and uh it's all over the roads kind of a, uh, and some of the water levels are pretty high some of the bridges that i normally pass the water is pretty much reaching the top of the bridge almost to the road so it's a little dangerous so i'm not gonna do that but uh hopefully everybody's okay uh thankfully nothing happened to us here in tampa but uh, I know it's going a little north, so hopefully it's fine, guys. As it seems like we pretty much cleared it. And uh, I pray for everybody who is actually affected by the hurricane. And hopefully, uh, you know, unfortunately, these things happen here in Florida. But we can get through it, guys. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this content. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I appreciate you guys for watching my videos. Like I always say, thanks for uh, interacting with my channel. It helps my channel grow every time, guys. And if you guys could do anything for my channel, I really appreciate it. Leave a like, comment maybe subscribe to my channel. Anyways, guys, I upload every week, so I'll see you guys back here next week. Remember, guys, stay positive, keep a good mindset, have a blessed week, and good luck out there fishing. Peace.